What's up everybody, how's things going? Today we are here for part 2 of Five Nights at Freddy's Left to Rot. If you enjoy this, leave a thumbs up on the video, and let's get to it. Alright, I know that was a very fast intro, but I didn't want to bore you guys a bunch, so I'd rather just get straight into the gameplay so you guys don't lose interest. But, we're here in night 2. It looks almost like the same exact screen that we've seen in night 1. But it's not. The show. It works just as if I'm a puppet, except that I don't have an arm coming out. Instead, yeah, you have two. As alive as ever, so you need to make sure I don't go dying on you. Now, let's look at my control. On the control rig, what the there hell? Are three main function sets. There's for movement in between shows. On the right side of the controller, you will see a control set for my head. Go ahead, try opening my jaw. Great. Now. The left side of my controller. It didn't even open it. Find a controller for my main body piece. Go ahead, try moving my body forward. Excellent. Ah. Uh. Open the controller. You will find a few preset actions for me. Go ahead, make me laugh. Terrific. <laughs> How is that supposed to be a laugh? Be ready to make the pizzeria come to life. So what am I controlling Good them job. this time? The first set of security animatronics should have been deactivated. Now, head to the storage room. Which is or did I just deactivate him? Call me. Click to continue. There's some items that we have seen within that facility from the pictures taken. So hopefully they just happen to still be there. Collect them and try to go through the door in the right side of the storage room. Once you've gotten through, I'll contact you again. Good luck. Okay. I don't need your good luck because I'm a Five Nights at Freddy's pro. I've been doing this forever. The fuck? The keypad? I'm just gonna go through here, right? Did I go through there? Looks it looks like a different room. Oh, I just got a part. Do I just collect all these? What about the screen? Or anything out here? Oh, okay. That's simple. Storage. Dun, dun, dun. This is like the Duke Nukem Forever game for PS3 where you have to like get the cutscenes every time you do a level. Alright, so I'm charging the door up. Again, I've never really played the game like this before. I played the first night, and that was truly my first time playing it. So this is my second time playing it for night two. And I'm going to keep charging the door up because I truly don't want to know what happens when the door has no charge. When it gets a 0% charge, I don't even want to know what's going to happen. But this seems a lot different than many other games. See, now like that, I can't tell if that's supposed to scare me and be like an animatronic that, you know, comes out and stuffs you in a suit or kills you or whatever this is about. But it seems a lot different than like Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and all those. So it kind of leads me to believe that, that I'm not actually going to get scared by that thing. But again, I don't want to figure out, so I'm just going to keep charging the door up. And check him behind me because I do not want to get jump scared. We're going to try and complete this night on our first attempt with no jump scares, keep the same clean pair of draws, and get done with it. Alright, still nothing. I'm okay. It's pretty simple. I just kind of charge up the door and use the light. Yeah, like that keeps happening, but like that doesn't really scare me. I'd hate to get all cocky and then just get jump scared and shit my pants, but it's pretty simple for now. Is that it? Room complete? Seems simple enough. Is there more to it? Welcome to our cave for maintenance training tape. This tape will be going over how to test and set our game Okay. Seems simple. Golden Comet. Press any key to continue. Okay. W A S D. Space to jump, shift to shoot. Ah, oh, okay. This is like one of those like spaceship games where you shoot at the stars coming by or whatever. 
Or no, you shoot at other ships coming by. With like a laser. Instead, I'm shooting pizzas. Am I just gonna keep shooting pizzas forever? What happens if they fly past me? Looks like nothing. I don't seem to have a health meter or armor or anything else. I'm just shooting pizza for points. And I'm getting pretty high. I'm over 700. But nothing's happening when they uh, go past me, so... I guess that's a good thing. I'm like looking at everything. I hate to get, you know, scared at a pizza game. How long is this shit gonna last? I wanna get into the action. Alright, I've been shooting pizzas for quite a while now. Can you fuck off already? Then let me go control lights and cameras and shit. Am I doing something wrong? Like, is there, an, is there like an objective that I'm not completing correctly? I don't know. I've been shooting pizzas for a while and I'm almost at 2,000 points. Winner! 1975. I've been shooting pizzas since 1975. Questionable quality? Sneaky guy. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. I'm just gonna keep moving around. Damn, that's fucking loud. Uh oh, I think our game machine died. Let's make sure that's sent out for repair. Great job. Just testing arcade games now? Or something? Oh, is that the end of the game? Just testing... Testing machines? I would go on to do the third... The third night or the third round of this in the same episode, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys want me to. Um, but as soon as I extend my videos to a certain point, um, people start to, like, lose interest and not watch them as much. So I want to do this as like a daily series and shit like that. And it shows me like different levels I can go to, three, and then I'm guessing the, second, the next one's four or whatever. But if you guys did enjoy this video, it would mean a lot to me if you guys can go down below and leave a like. Um, comment in the comment section, give me some constructive feedback, and that helps me out a lot as well. If you're new to the channel and you don't see um, subscribed next to my name, then make sure you do click the subscribe button as well as turn notifications to all because that way you'll never miss any of these interesting videos such as this one. So if you guys did enjoy this one, you know what to do. Leave a like. I'm going to quit saying the same shit over and over and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.